Dear friends, last year more than 1.6 million people were helped by the Salvation Army. As the largest non-governmental provider of social services in Canada, we reached out to 400 communities from coast to coast, providing services, hope, and dignity to those who met with hard times. The Salvation Army is an international Christian church. Its message is based on the Bible, and its ministry is motivated by love for God and the needs of humanity. Allow me to share with you some of our work over the past year. In June, the Salvation Army celebrated the grand opening of the Spryfield Family Resource Center outside of Halifax. It offers programs that help develop the minds of young children and that support marginalized individuals and families. Summer camp experiences are unforgettable and life-changing. From day camps to week-long camps away from home, the Salvation Army is committed to this vital ministry. Last year, 4,800 children found fun, adventure, friendship, spiritual instruction, and lots of encouragement at Salvation Army camps across Canada. Throughout 2009, the Salvation Army was challenged to meet an increased demand for our services. A nationwide report entitled Restocking the Shelves was released in October. It indicated that although Canada was emerging from a global recession, more Canadians were relying on social service agencies like the Army to meet basic human needs. The primary survey results indicated that one-third of all Salvation Army food banks and feeding programs saw a drop in donations, while three-quarters saw a rise in demand for these services. On November 11, the Salvation Army's territorial headquarters in Toronto announced the formation of a new advisory board. The board supports the Salvation Army with strategic guidance on the nation's operations and services. The 13 board members represent a number of high-profile businesses and civic organizations. On November 27, the Salvation Army's Gateway of Hope a modern, state-of-the-art facility for the homeless and at-risk population in Langley, British Columbia, officially opened its doors. This three-story development provides 30 emergency shelter and 25 supportive transitional beds for people who are homeless or at risk of homelessness. Deborah's Gate is a 10-bed facility that is located in a secretive location in Vancouver for the security of those being rescued from human sexual trafficking. On December 1st, it was ready for its first guests. Women benefit from a community of support and receive immediate medical care, help with addictions, legal issues, and refugee services. With demand for Salvation Army services at an all-time high, Canadians dug deep last Christmas donating more than $18 million to the Kettle Campaign. The total surpassed the 2008 record-breaking $16 million. As part of the Christmas campaign, for the first time ever, the Army introduced an innovative text-to-donate program. Canadians could make a $5 donation to the Salvation Army by texting the word HOPE to 45678 from most mobile phones in Canada. In January 2010, the Salvation Army was once again humbled by the remarkable generosity of Canadians to help those in need. Following the devastating 7.0 earthquake that wreaked havoc on Haiti on January 12, the Salvation Army in Canada raised more than $7 million for food items, medical supplies, and temporary shelter. In addition, the Salvation Army thrift stores across the country raised enough money to purchase 100 UN-approved tents at $500 per tent. The Salvation Army will be heavily and closely involved in the rebuilding of Haiti well past the conclusion of the current emergency situation. 
During the month of May, the Salvation Army's National Red Shield campaign set a goal of $2.75 million to support the Army's wide range of social services that include emergency shelter care, substance abuse counseling, employment training, and food services. As part of the campaign, the Army released data to illustrate the public's perception on poverty and homelessness. Information was taken from a public opinion poll conducted in late 2009. The report concluded that the Canadian public has an understanding of poverty as a concept, but lacks real solutions to help end poverty. We as a country must work to develop a national strategy that reduces the number of those trapped in poverty's vicious cycle. Also in May, for the second consecutive year, the Salvation Army held its national shelter open house, inviting Canadians to tour its facilities and see firsthand the social services it provides. In conclusion, the extent of our work would not be possible without your kind and generous donations. This past year, while a slumping economy continued to inflict pain on many, you gave what you could. For this I offer my sincere appreciation and thanks. Given current economic conditions, we don't expect client demand to drop off anytime soon. We will continue to rely on direct public support to meet the basic services we provide to hundreds of thousands in need each year. We pray God's richest blessing on you and your family in the days ahead.